Good morning. Well, it's nearly afternoon. Um, sorry, I get I'm eating a piece of cheese. Um, today is Farrier Day. This is uh, day six of the 30 of 30, and um, my farrier is on his way here, and Bishop is getting his first farrier work done um, in probably quite a while. Uh, as you can see in some of the other videos, he can give me his front feet with no problems. Uh, he gave me his back foot once, um, and then he didn't want to give me the other foot once. And then yesterday, he didn't want to give him either of them in the back. Not really. But I probably was doing it wrong. I'm, I never do it right. But <laughs> um, So I'm going to... I've got the GoPro set up, like right there, that little thing right there. So I've got the GoPro set up, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the boys, and I'm going to put them in here and let them eat their breakfast. And then I'm going to bring him out and put him here and make him eat his breakfast. So um, I thought about maybe putting them all together afterwards, but then I thought, well, I have got a ton of other things that I want to do with him that's going to be required to have him aside from pasture. And that side is okay for two horses, but maybe not for three. Um, but we'll have to see how this all goes uh, today because he and Darcy have not met and they haven't gone on a walk together. And I'd really like Jarvis and he to get another walk in before I put them all together. But um, we'll see what happens. And if everybody's calm and copacetic and behaving themselves, maybe we'll put them all over there. That way, when I bring him over onto this side to do his training, it might be beneficial because he's removed from his friends. He can learn to focus. I might do that. I might do that. But anyway, uh, let me go get him, and then I will show you his feet. And um, I got some pictures of his before that I sent to our farrier. Um, to kind of, that way, he kind of gets an idea of what he's going to get into. But um, I want to bring him in anyway and uh, clean out his feet, clean out everybody's feet, make sure everybody gets a little bit to eat before um, Farrier gets here. So let me go get him. I got these guys in and Bishop was standing over here and he touched the fence <laughs> he didn't like it he took off that way now look at him he's poking through he's like I don't know if I want to come back in here again oh that's funny all right well I'm gonna set you guys up here I'm gonna go get their buckets um, Jarvis is all sweaty from being outside because it's You done? Darcy's full of gas. I'll be right back, guys. So everybody's got their food. He did not want to come back in <laughs> after being shocked. <clears throat> As you can see, he's uh, still a little nervous. And uh, he's just looking behind his shoulder quite a bit, tentatively eating his breakfast. And uh, yeah, he's not quite happy. But he'll figure it out. I know, won't ya? Yeah, you will. So there's Jarvis in all his messy glory. I can give him a bath. And like the next day he can be that color again. And then Mr. D, who is doing amazingly well on his uh, Prescend. He gets one tablet per day and it has really done a fantastic job with him and his Cushing's disease. As you can tell, he is... Um, not ribby anymore. Um, some of the other videos that we've had, you can see that he's a little barrel chested hey, and uh, ribby. And he is not ribby anymore. He is nice and plump and round and not barrel chested. He's got a really nice, nice line to him. Right, buddy? You're standing kind of funny, but there you go. He, uh, he's really started to fill out and he's looking really amazing. And he's shedding, so yes. Oh, I have carrots. Yeah, you don't like carrots. <laughs> I 
I used to take the pill and put it in the end of a carrot. <laughs> now he won't even eat carrots. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's everybody waiting for their breakfast or eating their breakfast. And see, Linda, this is one of the four bags of carrots that we were able to buy with your donation. So thank you. It's going to go to him today um, while he's getting his feet done. Uh, we're going to give him treats just to make sure that he stands still and all that good stuff. So Awesome! See, we've already gone through like half the bag. <laughs> he really likes his carrots and they are amazing for training aids for him. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to let these guys eat and um, I'll probably be switching to the GoPro in a little bit uh, once the farrier gets here and we decide who we're going to have come out first. Um, I'm not going to video the other two just because this is about him. So we are gonna go to GoPro in three, two, one. Well, I don't know what is more exhausting. There goes the barrier. <laughs> I don't know what was more exhausting. Watching him do that or watching him do that. We got it done and he, his feet look good. No thrush, uh, no big problems. Um, that abscess that is on the back of his hoof that I showed you guys before where it blew out Um, it's gonna grow out so probably by this time next year maybe in the springtime um, we'll see the after effects of that as it grows down and uh, comes out through the sole but it, apparently it, it abscessed and it went out through the side um, he says there's no problems with uh, the hoof wall there so we should be good um, and it takes an hour uh, an hour I wish it took an hour oh my god it takes a year for a horse hoof capsule to grow out from the coronary band all the way down to the ground so where it gets trimmed off. So um, it's going to be a little while for that to be there. It's going to be unsightly for a lot of things, but um, as long as we just keep it from getting too, too wet and make sure that that crack doesn't get, you know, gummed up with all sorts of nasty stuff, then he shouldn't have any infections going back in and he should be fine. So um, with that, while we were doing that, Look, yay! The post uh, postman came, and um, this is that wound ointment that um, one of uh, his sponsors bought, and we were able to match their funds, and we bought all three. So there's three, and there's this one. These two will go into 15 Hands Tack into the store a little later on today, um, and then whatever proceeds we make off of that uh, we're going to put back into his fund and uh, make sure we can buy a couple other things um, we've got a halter on the way from one of our other sponsors so um, I want to thank you again for that so 
because uh, all of the all of the the halters don't fit. Even where is it? There's this one here. This is um, one of Jarvis's original fly masks. I just use it for traveling now. Um, but Shires makes it, and and it's an extra full, and it doesn't fit him. His face is so wide. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, guys. Come on, there we go. His face is so wide, as you can see, that's pretty wide, that his eyelashes touch, this touches his eye on the top. So his face is that just like that wide. I mean, it's just wicked wide. Um, he's got a big fat head. <laughs> um, so that doesn't fit him. So I don't know what we're gonna do as far as uh, fly sheets for him. Uh, I've got to measure him, dry it all. I probably should have done it. Hi, Bishop. I probably should have done it while he was in here, but he was crying for Jarvis, so we put him back out. But I will measure him for a fly sheet. Uh, we've got somebody who has expressed an interest on buying one for him, so I will make sure, thank you so, so much. I will make sure that I get you his exact measurements, which um, I'll probably do right after this. I'll probably put a couple of bales, uh, baling twine together and use that as a measuring and then take my measuring tape and and measure it so yeah let's let's do that what are we gonna do with you i put you uh put this right here there i think that'll work i'm over backwards all right guys got that that's how you measure the ball tape so that's how you measure with the, the tape and I put a knot put a knot right here as to where it was and I did it several times not just for me but for him because as you can tell he moved around a lot look at the storm that we're getting <laughs> um, so he moved around and I wanted him not to be afraid because he's afraid of string 
go figure that one out, huh? All right, guys. Well, uh, hold on. Let's uh, let's go back to the phone because that's like way better than this. Ready? In three, two, one. Ha! Ah, that's better. <laughs> And I'm just a big mess because it's windy. It's like a little wind tunnel in here. Um, yeah, the, there's going to be a storm coming. So, um, But so he's afraid of string. The things that horses are afraid of. And the things that you discover they're afraid of while you're doing other things. <laughs> um, hold on. Husband doesn't know how to do this latch. Hold on. Okay, yeah, that, that top latch, he always breaks it in the middle rather than keeping all three together. And um, it's a pain in the butt because I need two hands, and most of the time I don't have two hands. So, okay, um, that's that. Now I'm going to measure that. So let's take, I'm going to put you guys here. All right, now. One of these days I'll use that as a real stall. Okay, so now you want to take your string and measure up until your knot, which is right here. And I measured quite a few times to make sure I had the right end. And this is the beginning and this is the end. So let's find out how long that is. Where is my measuring tape? Hold on. Let me tilt you guys up just a minute. Ah, okay. All right. So now all we do is measure. And he is a little bit beefier on his left side than he is on his right side. Because when I measured on the right side, this actually went past the center of his tail onto the other side. So that tells me that this shoulder is not as bulky as this one. So he's compensating his body somewhere and either this is atrophied or this is the same and this has just gotten bigger. So that's gonna be something I'll have to look out for later. So let's take our string and put it right here in the end because it's got a, a handy dandy little hole. And let's see how long he is. All right. This is 36 right now. And that'll go down. And we are, this is 72. And wow, this is a 77. So usually uh, blankets are even numbered. So I would say a 78. Huh, and I was thinking 88. Okay, so according to my measurements, so now a 78, which would be tight, um, an 80 would probably be best because that'll allow him to move around a little bit more. I would say an 80. I'm going to say an 80. So I think I have an 80. Um, let me go see if I have an 80 blanket and I'll go and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, um, I have two blankets. If, if he was a, what was I said, a 74, yeah, 74, no, 76, um, and then I thought an 80. So this, this one here um, is like a mini skirt on Jarvis, and this is an, let's see, this is a 84, uh, Saxon makes this one, and it's an 84, uh, this is one of Jarvis's winter blankets and it's okay for Darcy it's a little small um, it fits him but it's not like perfect so I'm gonna gather Saxon's 84 is gonna be too small but we're gonna do this then I have Jack's this is one of Jack's old blankets um, and Jack is a Tennessee walking horse that we had when we bought Jarvis at the same auction the same night and um, he was doing really, really super awesome. We, we taught him everything, ground manners. Um, but he was a little bit too fast for my husband. Um, not as in like fast as in like just 
can't handle him, he could. I mean, Jack would just go. He was a Tennessee walking horse, and he was plantation style, so he was really old school. He had really, really nice old lines. So he had this really big Tennessee walking horse reach, and he covered a lot of ground really super fast. Um, so my husband, with uh, he had a motorcycle accident. He's got all sorts of pins and everything. It was just a little too much for him. Uh, so we ended up selling him to this wonderful woman who absolutely adores him, and it's a perfect match for him and her and what he's done and what she's done with him, and he is absolutely stunning, so I cannot say enough about the two of them and, her, of course, her husband because you know, he tries to. So this is Jack's. Um, Jack was a really, really big horse at the time. Um, this is a 76, and... Um, I don't think this is a Saxon either. I don't know who makes this one. But I know my mom bought it for him. So I know it's a really, really good brand. I don't know. Um, but I wash all these blankets and then put them up uh, for the winter time. But this one is actually for sale. Uh, I had it listed on 15 Hands Tack and on our eBay store. But I think, I think we took it down off of the eBay store. And I gotta just put it back up on the tack shop. So it's really, really super nice. It's got, anyway, I'll tell you all about it later. But um, let me bring these out to him and let's see if the 84 in the Saxon versus the 78 in whatever this is. 78, is that what I said? 76. Um, so his string, again, was measured many times. Now, the biggest part is with these shorter bodied horses is that you can have a short body, but a really, really big neck, so nothing will fit. Um, he was at the knot at 78. So, if anything, this will be just a little snug on him at a 76. And then this should be at an 84, this should be much bigger. Let's go find out. Back in the camera again. And uh, let's see what we can do here. I'll put you guys down here. All right, buddy. We are going to try some of this stuff. What do you think? Yeah. Let me know. We're gonna try some of this. All right, so not this one first. I think that one's gonna be too small. I'm gonna do this one. Let's see what that one. Very good. Easy. Easy.
Okay guys, so this is the Saxon and um, it would fit fine here on this one little there. And once you close that up, it'll fit fine here. This is actually not bad. It's a little tight around his neck, a lot tight around his neck, but I think if this was open enough, he could still move his neck around. Um, it'll be good. But thing is, it's just a smidgen too short on the butt. So I'm not even going to try that one over there because I know it's uh, smaller than this one. So that is an 84 and he's not happy about it. So let's take it off him because he was really, really good. You are so going to hate me. Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> this is what I meant about this maybe not fitting because they're wide and not narrow. Um, that's a Derby Originals and it's an 84. No, 76. So remember he was going to be like an 88. <laughs> it's way too tiny for him. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. <laughs> Alright, I got one more I can try on. Uh, I have to go get it though. And it's a 90. It is Jarvis's. Okay, now I thought, I thought, um, I sold this and um, you want to come over and say hi? See what it is? Good boy. You are very curious. <laughs> you are a very curious man. Yes, you are. Okay, so, um, this is actually a fly sheet. Hold on. This is a fly sheet that I bought, um, at a trade show, um, not too long ago. This is a 90, and I bought it for Jarvis. Because I figured, I can't even do this with one hand. My thumb just does not want to work. Hold on, guys. So I thought this would work for Jarvis, and it doesn't. Um, it fits him the long ways, but it doesn't fit under his belly. So let's see what a 90 looks like on him on a fly sheet. Okay. Well, a couple things I want to make note. Um, you can see the, the tail flap. Um, that actually starts at the top of his tail where it belongs. And you can see the pleats there. They're on either hip like they belong. Um, I did not do the legs or singles. The um, plaiting on his shoulders, those actually fit. And um, there's plenty of room, even the belly band. This has got a belly band on it. And the belly band actually fits. Now I had to put the straps all the way to the end but um, they actually fit quite nicely. He can move nice in it. And I wanna try to follow him so you guys can see the front. Let's see. Come here, buddy, you need to stop for a minute. Look at that. All right, thank you, good boy. Hi, say hi to everybody. Say hi, YouTubies. Okay, so he's showing you the front. Um, there's plenty of room here, so I can have it more open if I need to. And I just did this because I seriously, I did not think this was going to fit him. And you know what? That's a 90. Buddy, you got yourself a fly sheet. Yes, you do. You got yourself a fly sheet. And this is a nice one, too. It's very breathable. Um, so I think I'm going to make sure that he wears this at night versus at the dinner time. Oh, I think husband is leaving. 
<laughs> well, hello again. Okay, so um, yeah, he seems pretty happy with it, pretty comfortable with it. Uh, I'm not going... Yeah, that'll have to be loosened up. I'll have to open that up to the very, the very last. I know. We'll open it up to like there, because it really doesn't even need to be Velcroed. And I'll just put it there and there. And then we'll learn, we'll teach him how to take it off over his head. <laughs> not. I'm not very good at that. So, that actually fits him very, very good. And that is a... Okay! That is an Equios. Equos. Equ that one. That's what it is. And it's a size 90. Let me see here. Um, polyester. Uh, where's the, where's the size? There it is. USA size 90. Okay. Well, there it is. And I knew a 90 was going to be the one that was going to fit you. Yes, I did. That is very nice. A nice little twirl on the catwalk. <laughs> but there's no flies out right now, so I'm going to take that off. I think it'll work out fine. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses.